listening to Voices of IFES, where we speak with people from around the IFES Fellowship about all things student ministry. Hello and welcome to Voices of IFES. I'm Maeva and today we have a very special episode where we're going to talk about Word Assembly. So in December, IFES members attended a mission conference hosted by InterVarsity USA. We conducted interviews with general secretaries, local staff, and IFE staff members to gather their thoughts on World Assembly, the in-person gathering of representatives of our fellowship, which happens every four years. The event brings together around a thousand people, including staff members, board members, and students from various movements. The last World Assembly was held in South Africa in 2019, just before the pandemic began. In August 2023 time, we're meeting in Indonesia. After all the changes in the world and at IFES, including a new general secretary and a new vision called Thriving Together, we look forward to hearing at World Assembly about people's experience over the last four years. We've been asking them to share in their own words why World Assembly matters for IFES and for God's mission in the world and what they are looking forward to this time. Hi, my name is Jung Ho Kim. I am from South Korea and I serve uh, East Asia region as Associate Regional Secretary since January 2019. East Asia has hosted uh, World Assembly back in 1999. It was in South Korea. And this time at, in 23, it will be hosted again in East Asia. So we are, and personally, I am very excited and honored to greet all the international family members to Indonesia in our region. So that is an, uh, another joy and privilege to host. And also, East Asia has variety of cultures and interesting and funny things to offer to the global family. So I hope you can enjoy the culture, food, and hospitality of East Asia. And I hope this new gathering after the pandemic will revive our uh, global fellowship into a new way so that we can carry on our mission in the university for the next four years. Hola, mi nombre es Francisco Flores. Soy el secretario general del GBU en Chile. I was able to attend World Assembly in Mexico in 2015, and there are always events that somehow break new ground for me. In 2015, I made the decision to attend the World Assembly and then go to theological seminary, and with that, make a decision for full-time ministry. My expectation for this World Assembly is that we can have time to meet again after the pandemic and all that, a time to perhaps console those who have suffered as a result of the pandemic, but also a time to encourage us together to continue with the mission in different times and in different contexts. After two years of confinement, after two years of online, a generation that is affected by this. So I expect it to be a time of much encouragement, of much regaining strength together, of a word from God that encourages us all to continue with the mission in the world. And so that is my expectation. My name is uh, Joël Cornu, or Joël Cornu, if you pronounce it the French way. I'm originally from Switzerland. But my wife and I live and serve in Quebec, so with GBUC, which is the IFES Canadian French-speaking movement. And we've uh, served with them for 14 years, and we are now for two and a half years co-general secretaries. I think for us, World Assembly is always a chance to meet with the French speakers. And because the French-speaking world is across so many different regions, we never get a chance to get together apart from World Assembly and maybe a couple of people at Urbana. Uh, so that's definitely something. And if I can share a little story about the World Assembly that transformed my life, really. It was in 2011 in Poland. <laughs> there was a, 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 a preaching by Annette Arut Raja, and she talked about humility. And that has changed my life. Uh, it's been like more than 10 years. That one preaching was probably the most influential preaching of all my life. So, Annette, if you ever listen to that, thank you very much. My name is uh, Sarad Lama, also called Ram Kumar. So I live in Kathmandu. Uh, I'm from Nepal. Uh, 
my movement name is uh, we call NBCBS. It's a Nepal Christian University Fellowship. Uh, I'm working as a general secretary for last ten years. World Assembly is uh, you know what uh, I've been thinking is uh, one is you know across the world like us like uh, movement how they have been working uh, in different parts of the world uh, we can you know hear their stories their challenges their uh, you know um, not only challenges how they overcome on the, that challenges so they will share and we will hear and at the same time we will also get chance to uh, share you know what we have challenges and uh, what we have been doing one thing is that other thing is a kind of fellowship so um, it's kind of uh, I would say celebration also you know <laughs> it's once in a four year so in between this four year you know what has happened um, how God has worked so it's kind of all together I mean uh, we are part of larger family big family so um, uh, four years in our home country we are you know in the field so this is the time that we come together and just we praise God together we celebrate uh, together it's kind of a, you know a spiritual party <laughs> you know a spiritual party celebrating together uh, you know those who have a kind of a like mind you know we all together work among the students so those are the things then obviously you know since you know IPS has a kind of a structure also, a structure also demand you know representation from every movement, those who have appellated. So in that way also, I mean legal uh, mandatory also there to to participate there. So obviously uh, whatever we uh, have to do there, it's our responsibility also as a member movement of IPS to go all assembly and uh, to take part in the voting and. Uh, that thing also is kind of our responsibility. My name is Sahna. I am from Mongolia. I am the general secretary of Mongolian IFS movement. I think World Assembly is very uh, good opportunity to God's family uh, gathering one place, and also we, it's good to see what is our vision, how we go forward together. Then I also felt last World Assembly in South Africa. Then I felt it's keep going and I'm not uh, alone, then there's many encouragement, many experience exchanged, and also I brought some board members in the World Assembly. Our board members and our staff also extend in the mind and vision. It's very good exchanging and meeting place, communication place. I am uh, Duncan Chiani. I am from Malawi and uh, I'm with IFS in the English and Portuguese speaking Africa region as Associate Regional Secretary for Southern Africa, which covers 10 countries that speak English and Portuguese. World Assembly firstly for me is a, a place to be refreshed, uh, a place where we, we actually come together as a general fellowship of the, of the IFS and it's, it's a good space actually after, after working uh, you know, because most of the times when we are working in our, in our various regions, you're the one most of the times doing the work, going out. But our assembly is another place where you go and actually you feel, I can sit down and uh, just appreciate what God is doing, but also allow God to speak in my life and give me a new perspective, uh, even after hearing what God is doing around the world and getting new ideas uh, of how to even to to serve God in, in student ministry. So for me, I'm looking forward to that ref uh, refreshing moments, those of us being refreshing moments, but also I'm looking forward to uh, having great ideas and better ideas, he listening from God to say, what other things can we do as we serve you within the region? Uh, my name is Kerwin Stewart. I currently serve as the Associate Regional Secretary for CARFES, which is the IFES Caribbean I think for me personally, uh, the first time I served, I went to World Assembly, I served on the organization team. And uh, that has definitely transformed my ability as a leader to see uh, how things are planned from that perspective. So uh, in terms of pulling the event together, what are some of the challenges? What are some of the, the things are, what, what things are required through um, by scheduling? All of those really serve to help me to be able to uh, plan and execute events in my local context. 
But more than that, the World Assembly brings the family of believers across the world together. That in and of itself is a tremendous blessing just to be able to walk and to greet and to hug and to have uh, conversations with men, women, students from across the world, it, it's, it's heavenly. I think this is epitomizes for me a little bit of what heaven is going to be. It helps me to look forward to heaven. So that in and of itself, just bringing people together with one heart and one mind, is a really indeed a blessing. And I look forward every few years to be a part of World Assembly. Uh, so for me, that would be the biggest blessing. The reporting, the seminars, the uh, interactions, the worship are really just uh, the cherry on the cake. But for me, uh, the meeting and greeting, I, I, I must also mention those small groups. I still, uh, up to a few months ago, I received messages from my small group out of South Africa. It's really, really a blessing uh, in terms of how I see it as Associate Regional Secretary. My name is uh, Zalala Mabebe. I'm a regional secretary for EPSA, English and Portuguese speaking Africa. I, I live in Ethiopia, uh, Addis Ababa in the capital. World Assembly is uh, a place that real uh, fellowship, real uh, family and community meet. So I have been in, uh, in different World Assemblies uh, since 20. Or seven in Canada. <laughs> yes, it's it's a place that a family comes together and get energized again for the bigger cause, and it's also a place for many to see the bigger picture of IFS and uh, to see that sometimes you know as some movement feel they are they are they are alone, they are living alone, but when see, when they see this community, family, the bigger picture that that gives another energy. And also, my expectation is this, this is a, a time for us, you know, thriving together, vision comes uh, down and uh, get us uh, together to thrive. Hello, this is uh, Lasar Banerjee from Bangladesh, and I am working with our student movement as an Assistant General Secretary right now. The first thing is, uh, yeah, when I will go to World Assembly, I can meet many uh, IFS uh, godly le leaders. So it will give me the like, opportunity to know them and to make network with them. And I can also know uh, how God is actually working in their own like context. So m maybe that uh, will help me uh, to understand um, how we, we also can actually uh, do better in our country. And God can actually reveal so many different things. I don't know, but I uh, I hope that I will learn so many things, and that will be uh, beneficial for our students in Bangladesh. I'm Nigel Pollock. I'm currently serving in Canada with InterVarsity, and I'm also involved with IFES in the Breaking New Ground project. World Assembly is a fantastic experience. It is really a unique time to see what God is doing around the world. This will be my seventh World Assembly and it's been an absolute privilege to be at each one. But I think one of the things I've become aware of is that globally the situation is becoming more complicated all the time and the evangelical church is becoming more polarised. So one of my big prayers for this World Assembly is for unity, that we are united in the primary things of the gospel. There's an old Puritan thing about in essentials unity, in non-essentials liberty, in all things charity. And one of the things that threatens IFES is that people keep wanting to add to the number of things that they label as essential. And really we need to be united in the core truths of the gospel and committed to taking that to the world as being the foundation of who we are. So I really hope that we will see greater unity at this World Assembly and that that will be a springboard to, to the thriving that has been spoken about in the strategic plan, that we'll be able to, to thrive as God's people, develop student leaders, have an impact through our, through our graduates, and to make a difference around the world. And I pray that people will encounter God in his word and will be encouraged as they meet people from other places and they realize that 
some of their brothers and sisters are going through persecution, some are facing difficulty and, and opposition, but that we have common cause in the gospel. When I went to New Zealand, it was the place that the Lord of the, the Rings movies were filmed. And Lord of the Rings is a story of people who are diverse, but find common cause in the, in the search for the one true ring. So in the, the Fellowship of the Ring, which is the title of the first uh, movie, you have dwarves and elves and hobbits and a human kind of finding common cause. And when I went to New Zealand, I started to talk about not the Fellowship of the Ring, but the Fellowship of the King, because we want to bring people together from diverse backgrounds, different personalities, different temperaments, different ages, different genders, different ethnicities, to find common cause in the gospel so that together we unite as a fellowship and make a difference. And that really is at the heart of IFES. We are the fellowship of evangelical students, but we're the fellowship of the King. As the host of this podcast, I haven't had the chance to attend World Assembly yet. However, those inspiring testimonies from 10 different countries have made me excited for August. It's amazing to hear how people like Laza from Bangladesh come to World Assembly to get new ideas. People are looking forward to being encouraged and motivated. If you're inspired by these testimonies and want to support the organization of this event, please keep us in your prayers. Additionally, we have created a scholarship to help students and staff members attend the conference and any financial support will be greatly appreciated. So thank you for listening to this podcast and hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye. Thanks for listening to Voices of IFE. Follow us on your favourite podcast platform to hear more interviews like this one today. If you want to hear stories of how students are transforming their campuses around the world, subscribe to Prayerline, our weekly newsletter with inspiring stories to help you pray for student movements. You can go to ifesworld.org to subscribe or follow us on Instagram and Facebook to listen to stories in audio form.